Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to create a lightning email template in Salesforce Lightning. So let's begin by understanding what is lightning email template. So lightning email templates are the advanced and the better email template version than the Salesforce classic email template. It has many features such as it provides us the functionality to add the attachment to the template. It can also be used in the Apex class. Even while sending the manual emails, you can utilize it. Moreover, it provides the benefit of being used when sending the list of email. And one of the most important, there is no need to write the code for the merge field. We can insert it from the insert merge field option directly. And in Salesforce Lightning, there are two ways to create the Lightning email template either by using a HTML or by using a template builder. So we will discuss both of the ways in this video. So let's first begin by understanding how we create the lightning email template in Salesforce using a HTML. So here I open my Salesforce account and by default it is open in a Salesforce lightning edition. So for this firstly we have to click on this app launcher here the nine dots. Now you have to search for the email template in this search box. Now under these items you will get the option of a email template click on it now here you will get a button of a new email template click on this now add the information about the new email template so here i want to create an email template with the name contact info so here i created it now i want to relate it you with the entity contact so here i set the related entity type to the contact if you want to add a description, you can add it, otherwise leave it blank. Now give the subject to the message content. So here I add the subject as a contact information. After that, now you have to define the HTML value. So here I add hi. Now I want to add the first name of the contact. So for this, I click on this insert merge field and from here I search for the first name and here you can see that it works upon a lead and contact both. So I click on this and click on insert. So it will insert the first name. Now I add the next line. Here is your info. Uh, so now I want to insert another merge field like I want to add the birth date of the contact. So I insert it and in front of it I add it as add it birth date. If you want to add another field click on insert this again and here you will get the number of details so i want to add the contact id so i click on it and click on insert and here i enter as id in front of this again now i click on this save button so here you can see that it finally enter the html value and here is the final look of the lighting email template that is created using the html in salesforce lighting mode here i forgot to show you one thing you can even change its font size, font, even you can bold it and you can also add the attachment or the link by clicking on these above buttons. So now I finally save it. So now we will move ahead and learn to create the lightning email template using the template builder in Salesforce lightning. So here I open my account in the lightning mode and uh, firstly we have to follow some same steps that we have uh, followed in while creating it using a HTML. So firstly we have to click on this app launcher then you have to search for the email template then you have to click on this new email template now enter the name of the email template that you want to create so here i create it as a user welcome choose the entry type i again choose it as a contact if you want to add description you can add it and also give the subject here i give it as a welcome user now this time we doesn't want to create it using the html value so we will leave this html value space blank and directly click on the save button so you can see that it creates an email template with the name user welcome now we have to has our main agenda is to create it with the template builder so we will follow some steps to create it using the template builder so for this you firstly have to click on this gear icon and click on the setup after that in this quick find box you have to search for the permissions and here you will get an option of a permission set next you have to click on this new button now enter the label so here i enter the label as a template builder permission and the api name is automatically populated if you want to add a description you can add it and directly click on this save button 
now you can see that we are on the same page of the permission set now scroll down and here you will get the option of a system permission so when you find it click on it now click on this edit button now search for the assess and drag and drop contact builder so here we have a assess drag and drop content builder so i click on this checkbox it automatically get unable and now i have to click on this save button so here you will see that it shows you that the system permission assess drag and drop content builder is allotted so click on save now here on the top you will get the option of a manage assignments click on this button now click on add assignment now tick the checkbox of a specific user to whom you want to assign the permission so here i click the user and now you have to scroll down and last you will get the option of a next click on a next now directly click on this assign button and finally click on a done button by using all these steps you will successfully create a permission for the template builder now we have to move back to the our email template that we have created so on the above you can see that here i have a tab of a user welcome click on this tab again now refresh the page once so all the updates are enabled now now here you can see that you will get the button of a edit in builder so click on this button so now we will create a user welcome email template by using the four standard components so here are the list of the components so here i firstly want to add the image of the company logo so for this i will choose the image component so i click on this and drag into the box and uh, here i get the component of the image so from here you have to search select the file and here i select my file so you can see that i get the logo of my company now i want to add the welcome text so for this i use the rich text component so i click on it and drag it here so here i enter the text and on the right side you will get the box to insert a text so here i simply add a welcome user you can even bold it or a uh, italic these even you can change the font size or the fields and you can also merge the fields so here i collect the select the merge field button and uh, here i click on the contact description of a contact and also i click on the contact id to show you the example i bold this contact id and also i analyzed it so now i want to add the insert button so for this i am using this button component and I'll set it here you can change the button name so here i change it to the insert button you can also change the style of the button button color button size whatever you want to change suppose here i change the color of the button to this one you can see that the color of the button get changed so now simply click on this save button to save your email template using the builder so here you will get the option like it is saved now let's move back to the email template so here you will get the final look of your lightning email template that we have created using the lightning template builder in salesforce uh, so like this this email template look like so with this we have learned to create the email template using the builder also so today in this video we have learned to create the lightning email template in salesforce lightning and we have discussed both the methods that we use to create the lightning email template so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day